Yet another modern day example of why we have the Second Amendment and a perfect example of who the militia truly is. Is China gaming out an invasion? Well, Taiwan certainly is preparing for one. Its citizens are training themselves on how to use a gun. It these pictures are from New Taipei. Last week, a training was held here. People from all walks of life participated. They, practices, they practiced how to use a gun. Remember, we saw something similar in Ukraine. Just before the war, civilians had picked up the gun. Many of them are now fighting the war. The people of Taiwan are taking inspiration from Ukraine. They say they want to be ready to fight if China invades. So China's neighbors are arming up and the West is ramping up deployments. Why the urgency? Why are all stakeholders in the Pacific preparing for an invasion now? The U.S. says it has reason to believe that China could invade Taiwan in this decade. You know, the other day I came across this dense tweet from John Cooper. John Cooper has 997,000 Twitter followers and is the former national finance chair of Draft Biden in 2016, Long Island campaign chair for Barack Obama and majority leader of Suffolk County legislator. And his tweet read this. Why do conservatives always ignore the well-regulated militia part of the Second Amendment? And my response was, why do people like you ignore the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed part of the Second Amendment? And then he blocked me. This is a stupid argument. Why would the founding fathers need to instruct our government that our government has the right to keep and bear arms? The Second Amendment is part of the Bill of Rights. Saying the Second Amendment was referring to the government is like saying the founding fathers wrote the First Amendment to protect the government's freedom of speech, religion, press, and assembly or that they wrote the Third Amendment to protect the government from the people quartering soldiers in the White House, or the Fourth Amendment to protect the government from unreasonable search and seizure. People like to make this goofy militia argument because they don't understand that there are two clauses that make up the Second Amendment, the Operative Clause and the Prefatory Clause. The Supreme Court literally explained this, but because the anti-gunners don't actually study this shit and just regurgitate whatever the media tells them, they don't know any of it. And I quote, the court concluded that the purpose announced by the prefatory clause is to prevent the elimination of the militia, which it said comprised of all males physically capable acting in concert for the common defense. In other words, the purpose announced by the prefatory clause is to prevent the people from being disarmed so that they may be called upon to serve in concert for the common defense. The Second Amendment isn't about hunting. It's not about sports shooting. It is about the people's ability to come together with their guns to protect the country from not only foreign, but domestic tyrannical governments. The Taiwanese don't have a Second Amendment. So when there is a threat from a foreign government, the people have to get their guns from their government. The problem is what happens when the threat is their government. You really think a tyrannical Taiwanese government is going to give the guns to the people to fight back against the same Taiwanese tyrannical government? That's stupid. That's why the Founding Fathers wrote the Second Amendment. They knew any government can become tyrannical, even our own. That's why the Second Amendment, using modern English, says, as a result of meeting a well-regulated, i.e. well-functioning and capable militia, which is the people, i.e. you, to protect this country, at no time will the people's ability to own arms be infringed by the government. And that's what the people of Taiwan are learning right now, just like the people of Ukraine. The people are the militia. You know, we talk a lot about empowerment in this country, except for when it comes to the Second Amendment. However, I can't think of anything more empowering than having the most effective tool to protect you and your family. So help me spread this message by liking and sharing this video with everyone you know. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment because the Second Amendment, when it said militia, it wasn't talking about the government. It was talking about you. Also, if you want to know where to find the I'm the Militia shirt and merchandise, click the I'm the Militia link in the description section of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, make sure you hit that bell symbol.